bulk day 99, weight 213.6, first day dropping calories down to 4,500. Today's tip of the day, if you're bulking, buy in bulk. When you're eating 4,500 to 5,500 calories per day, that's a lot of food, especially if you're eating clean, healthy, whole foods. Buying in bulk saves money because you get a lot more food per dollar and it saves time not having to buy food as often. Here's all the stuff I buy in bulk. 50 pound bag of jasmine rice, five pound bags of vegetables. This is shredded lettuce, 10 pound rolls of ground beef, four pound containers of yogurt, five dozen eggs. And for my bulking buddy, we buy her formula in bulk. Now for the workout recap. Today was heavy leg day. I took advice from the late and great John Meadows to do hamstring curls before squats to warm up the knees. I know a lot of other people say it helps their knees, but I tried it and unfortunately it didn't help my knees at all. The only difference I noticed is it made my squats much harder than they should have been. For me, having a quad pump feels much better on my knees when I squat. So for you, try both getting a hamstring pump or a quad pump and see what feels better on your knees. Everyone is different, so find what works for you. I upped the weight on the sled from 600 to 690, but when I'm pushing the sled, I don't like how it feels on my feet and my Achilles tendon, so I'm just gonna pull the sled from now on. Partial squats were hard. I lowered the pins two inches. Last time I was doing five plates for five, and with lower pins, I could only do singles. And then leg press went good. I did six plates for triples last time, so I did six plates for fours this time. And that's the workout. I'm gonna get back to bulking, and remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Enjoy the workout. Sled push and pull. hamstring curls. Touch and go pin squats. partial squats.
Lake Press. One leg calf raises. That's the workout. Thanks for watching.